morning, guys. We are on Boa Vista. More precisely, we are at Estoril Beach. Our goal is to get you to know a little bit uh, the different spots of Boa Vista where you can kite, where you can surf, where you can stand up, paddle and do all the different kind of uh, water sports. Yeah. We have Leoa there on the background, you might see a little bit of the white caps. Actually, it's, it's quite pumping this morning, mm -hmm. so some guys were already out there. Yeah. Um, what's what's Leoa like? I mean, the, the wave, would, is, it, is it good for beginners? Uh, is it better for kite surfing or windsurfing? Does it offer the whole package? What? What's? Well, what's it's good. good it's good for all the the surf sport that there are, like windsurfing, kitesurfing, surfing, and stand up paddling. Yeah. But for beginners, it's not a good spot. Okay. Yeah. It's quite big wave, and sometimes you do washing machine. And for a beginner, it will be something like yeah, yeah. stressful. You know, not a good Absolutely. situation to be. So Absolutely. I wouldn't recommend it for beginners. Okay. But it's perfect wave. You know, yeah. not every time. Like today, it's. Quite good. Sometimes you see some lines, and these lines are are good for surfing. So I think Leoa is the best when the when the tide is coming up, right? Is it is that true? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I have been surfing myself in Leoa a couple of times. Uh, I wouldn't consider myself an expert, but not a beginner yet. It's a very nice and powerful wave. Okay. And I think sometimes we even have some tubes there. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. There is some tubes. So it's a very good training spot for intermediate riders. Yes. Okay. Who like to go into big wave surfing, let's say. Yeah. Okay. And for professionals, it's a very. It's the, the quality of the wave is pretty high. I think yes. you can you can set it like that. Okay. Um, the wind direction towards the wave. I think it's side shore. Yeah. It's side take, side off. Side side off. Sometimes yeah. it's side. Sometimes it more. It's more side off than side. Okay. So that's pretty good. Yeah. And it's a point break, so it's pretty safe. I mean, if something happens in Leo, you yeah. you you. you you get spit out of the wave and you have yes. always time to recover yes. your material. Yes. It's a pretty safe spot, but the wave is massive and it's very powerful. So yeah. no beginners, only no intermediate <laughs> riders, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, very cool. Um, well, let's move on a little bit further. We have uh, Isola di Sarre and there behind Isola di Sarre, we have another spot and you call it over here. What's the name of that? We call it Tras Geo. It means behind the island. So. Isola di Sarre, of course, is offshore of, of Sarre, of Boa Vista, yeah. so it's far away for the people. It's a bit also a bit risky to go there, yeah? so just make sure that you go with somebody, I guess. You yes. always have to be there in two, three a people. A local which already been there, exactly, for example. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will be the... And you should have a boat there. There are many centers here on that beach which, which have boat support and which are really happy to take you out there. So Yeah. Guess we do. And the scenery is awesome. I mean, you have the old uh, defense tower over there with the cannons still on there. So it's a really, really nice place to kite. Yeah. yeah. Even if there's no wave. I mean, a lot of times I just go around the island with the foil and it's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. scenery. Even to go around it, like yeah. to check the whole island, yeah. it's yeah. pretty cool stuff. All right. And there is the wave, which is, let's say, after the beach you see here. Yeah. It starts right on the middle where you see higher yeah, point yeah, yeah, of the yeah, island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the middle wave. But yeah. after that, you have a very flat place and the wind there is blowing really good because the That's island it. is not so high. So the wind just passed through it. Yeah, so yeah. it's a cool spot also to kite behind the island, but it's good always to have someone so nearby. Yeah. yeah, 
sure. not to go alone there. If okay. you if you're a guy which knows about your high level, then you will decide. Okay. Yeah. So that's spot number two. We have Leoa covered. We have uh, Isola de Sarre behind there, which I already forgot the name again of the spot. Trust Joe. Trust Joe. Okay. We have English Harbor, which is really far outside, but we're going to cover that on another episode, not right now. Yeah. Um, the next one right in front of the Estoril Beach as well would be the would be the reef. I think we just call it the reef. It's a reef. Yeah. So what, what's the reef about? I mean, I can see it now. You can't see it, <laughs> but I can see it now. <laughs> It's, there is some wave there and yeah. uh, it looks pretty smooth and easy. What? What's that wave? Is it, is it good for beginners? Yeah, it's, let's say, the perfect ones for beginners. Okay. Yeah, even for people who never did surfing, they can come here and have some lessons. Perfect. And it's pretty cool. Uh, the wave, you have many sections there. You have the ones behind. Those are a little harder when the wave is, like, breaking hard. Yeah. Because you have swells in winter, which the wave sometimes is breaking every day for the whole week. And you can surf behind with bigger waves and line waves. And then also you can try here, yeah, like the first time. You don't have to go so far away okay. if you are a real beginner, let's say. So pretty easy wave, uh, yes. but yeah. also high quality. I would say I surfed there a couple of times with my yeah. SUP and I really catch some beautiful waves with a couple of button turns. Yeah. So uh, it's a nice wave and it's an easy wave, but when it gets bigger, it can be also quite, yeah. quite powerful, I guess. Yes. So. So we have Estoril Beach. Um, it's mainly a place for people to take a swim, as we already said before. There's many restaurants around here uh, to chill, relax, and have really good food. There are a couple of centers as well uh, for rentals uh, and for lessons as well. Uh, we have three wave spots just in front of us. So pretty good beach, I would say. Yeah, yeah. sure. And uh, pretty relaxed atmosphere. And uh, yeah, that's Boa Vista. That's part number one of our spot guide and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave the comments below and uh, soon you will hear from us yeah. again. I say thanks to Romy, that's really cool to join us today here. Yeah, man. And, um, yeah.